Hi, I'm Matt Hodson of John Crawford Marine. Today we're going to talk about this Savage 5.5 Surveyor. Savage 5.5 Surveyor came about for people or families wanting an 18 foot boat with a generous cockpit but just enough of a cabin to have a bit of a kip with the kids. So this boat proportionally probably has around two thirds of the boat dedicated to cockpit and helm area and a third of the boat dedicated to, a, uh, to cushioning and in the cabin. One of the great features of the Savage 5.5 is an Australian made boat with a great deep V'd hull which means it's one of the more comfortable fiberglass boats on the, uh, on the Australian market. The boats were also very popular we find in the second hand market because of the access that they have in getting into the boat and off the boat at the uh, ramp or down along at the beach but also to anchoring, something quite often overlooked when buying a boat on the boat yard well as we'll show throughout the uh, demonstration to get to the front of the boat is really made easy with the way that the cabin decks open right up. Seating, plenty of seating and plenty of comfortable space but yet a lot of area in side pockets and storage for things like skis or tubes, toboggans, fishing gear, paddles, kids gear, towels, you name it, this boat's got storage and areas to place it. So let's have a look at some of the features on the boat as we move around it. Something I do like about this particular boat is the layout of the dash. So from a steering position, nice and easy, yet if I want to stand up to take a bit of the rough stuff out with my knees, I can stand up still really quite well and just bounce that through. Electronics have been well laid out on this boat. We've got a nice quality uh, Lowrance colour GPS sounder, easy to see from the helm. A layout of instrumentation, easy to monitor the engine's uh, performance. And yet for communications, we've got a 27 meg radio, a VHF radio, and a quality fusion stereo system, which is great for the passenger uh, to be able to access that whilst the skipper is basically looking after driving the boat. Visibility on this boat is amazing. The, uh, the wraparound windscreen design and with the clears, certainly gives you that protection from the elements, but gives you visibility throughout the boat. Something else I like, even though this boat we call a bit more of a cuddy cab rather than a half cab is the size of the bunk cushions in front here. We've also got the bunk infills and they're those middle sections in the middle of the, uh, the V-berth which allows basically to have the, uh, the comforting area of a double bed. But what it is good when you're anchoring, quite simple, pull those out, that now opens up the ability to get right forward to lay the anchor out. Well, the next best thing to do, let's get it down to the water, let's launch this boat and let's have a look at how easy it is to get the anchor in and out, how easy it is to get it on and off the trailer. <laughs> 